Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another post for January. All month long, I am showing you all the fun and cool things that you can do with denim, whether it be upcycled or recycled or even brand new. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how to take a thrifted denim jacket or vest and turn it into this really cute quilted and denim combo. The quilted portion that I used for my uh, version was actually a pillow sham. So don't feel like you need to find an entire quilt to make this. You just need a very little bit for the pieces here. So without further ado, let me show you how to put this little thing together. Okay, our first step is going to be to cut apart our jacket because we're going to end up using the pieces we cut away as our pattern pieces for the quilted fabric. So I cut off the lower bodice, like I left on the yoke and I left on this little um, flap for the pocket. I'm not gonna do another pocket, I don't think, but I thought it'd be a cute detail if this still flapped down. So I cut around that and you can see, I just cut just along the stitching line that they have there. And then for like the button band area, I did cut it away, but I left myself a little bit of seam allowance so that whenever I go to attach the quilted portion, I have a little bit of room to work with there. So I left a little seam allowance here. I couldn't do it here um, because of the flap, but I also wouldn't have been able to do it really if I wasn't keeping the flap because of the flat filled seam. So don't worry about it up here. There's another tricky way. If there's a flat filled seam here, there's another tricky way for you to get the quilted fabric attached. So once you get both of your bodices, the fronts removed, you're gonna do the same thing to the back um, picture, the middle piece here. I ended up using that for another portion of the coat, I'll tell you about in a second, um, but just cut the back off below the yoke again, again, leaving myself a bit of a seam allowance. This one's a little bit larger. Okay, so once you've got that, you want to take these pieces, the two fronts, as well as your back piece, and you want to make, like use these as pattern pieces, and you wanna cut out your quilt pieces from that. So you can see I did that here. They would have been right sides together. So it went something like this. And again, I gave myself a little bit of wiggle room all the way around just to ensure I'd have some seam allowance if I needed it. Worst case scenario, it's too big and I cut some away. Not a big deal. Um, same thing for the other side. And then here is the back. As you can see, it's all one piece um, cut from these two with the center still attached. I shouldn't have cut that off before I started the video, but I was getting cutting happy. Um, okay, so we've got our we've got our back piece, we've got our two front pieces, and then we've got our, like the frame of our jacket. Next, and this is what I used the center of the back for, I had to cut these strips because this is a sleeveless, this is a vest, <laughs> a sleeveless coat. It's a vest. I cut the sleeves off a long time ago. This became a different recycle project. Either way, I need to finish my seam allowances here. If you are going to keep the sleeves and you want to use those out of the quilted fabric too, by all means, cut off your sleeves, cut up like the underarm portion of the sleeve, and then use that as your pattern piece for your sleeve. Because I'm keeping mine a vest, I need to finish off the raw edge here so that whenever these two things get lined up like this, I will have this part finished with the same denim that came from the jacket. So it'll look like that, nice and pretty. Okay, so how do you reassemble this? So again, we're gonna finish this with bias tape, right? We're gonna use this as bias tape. We're gonna finish off this arm side so that will be nice and finished. Once that is done, you are going to Turn the jacket like so. And again, this is the top yoke, right? This is the back yoke, this is the front yoke. So this goes here like this. So we need to fit this back into its original form. So the best way to do that is if you have something that had a um, flat felled seam or anything similar, you should have this kind of little seam allowance here. They finished this one with some bias binding themselves. So I'm gonna use that as my 
as the part where I sew it onto. And again, remember, this is all finished. So yeah, like that. And it's a little bit thick. So I was using um, Wonder Clips, that's what those are called, for that, to hold that in place. And I'll just take my zipper foot on my sewing machine and stitch very, very closely to this line as best I can. Might be a little bit tricky to get into the corner, but once I do that, I'm gonna turn. So then these raw edges get matched up as well. So right sides together. I've got my little seam allowance from my, from the jacket. And this can get pinned in pretty easily. And again, you're just gonna run your sewing machine, needle, whatever, right down this little ledge here. Kind of like stitching in the ditch. Once you get that done, this is what your jacket should look like. Okay, so you're gonna do that for the left and the right side, okay? Then you're gonna come around to your back so it's just going to go right sides together, right sides together, matching your centers and matching the arm size. And you're just going to sew this all the way down following this little seam here. So now at this point you have, you know, one of these numbers where you have your front and your back you're gonna sew your side seams, right sides together, and then you will have like basically your vest is all put back together again. I just need to figure out the hem. Um, here's the original waistband. So I could definitely sew that back on. That would be really, really cute. Just so it looks like this is fully in set. I think that's probably the best plan. Okay, here I'm just showing you how I was able to finish off the center front of the waistband. I turned the waistband up and then turned the raw edges to the wrong side and then just stitched along um, the hem where the quilted part and the waistband come together. And then you turn that back right side out and it makes a really clean finish. All right, and there you have it. It really couldn't be more simple than that. Um, here is a peek see at the inside. Really nothing fancy. I did end up running my raw edges through the serger, so that helped a little bit. But I think she's really so, so, so cute. If you wanted to take this a step further and add some pockets, you could absolutely do kind of like a kangaroo pocket would be really cute or a patch pocket or anything like that. But um, mine's a vest, so I don't imagine I'm even wearing it when it's super, super cold outside anyways, so I'm going to skip the pocket part, um, but I just adore how she turned out, and I love, maybe more than anything, that I was able to get this done with a sham, with a pillowcase. Um, you just never know how much fabric you're really going to get when you start pulling those things apart. This was one sham and one denim jacket, so all in less than $10 on this cutie cutie little project. Um, let me know if you give this a go. If you have any questions about anything, um, let me know that as well. You can leave your thoughts and comments and questions all in the comment section below. Um, but that is going to do it for me today. I will be back with another fun project featuring denim really soon. See you guys then. Bye!